Hello everybody, how are you all? How's everyone doing? I hope you're all keeping well. Um, this is a very odd time indeed, isn't it? So, um, you know, the most important thing is that we all get through this happy and healthy. So, I'm just going to get going. I'm going to get cracking. Miss Jane's asked me to do you a little video. Uh, we do have Dylan in the background, but hopefully he'll stay quiet. Um, so, what I wanted to do today, Miss Jane has put drama tips, but actually um, today we're going to look at some Something that puts the fear of God into um, some students and has done, and myself included in that. Um, some younger students may not have really touched upon this at the moment, but there may be some little nuggets you can take away. I am going to do something specially, um, not quite sure exactly what yet, but some other sort of more. Um, another video designed more towards the younger students as well so I'm going to do that separately so this may or may not be of um, any um, use to the younger students there may be some little bits you can pick up okay so we are going to talk today about improvisation now I know some of the older students who are watching this will be going oh god I hate improvisation I can't do improvisation I'm rubbish at improvisation I'm not funny these are all the complaints I hear um but I'm here to tell you, okay, that today we're going to put all those to bed, okay? Because honestly, improvisation is something that is going to get you through everyday life. It's something, it's not just towards drama, it's all areas of performance. Improvisation is something that's quite key. And did you know, improvisation is actually something we do every day, okay? Um, it's like if you bump into someone you haven't seen in a long time or something or you can't remember someone's name or you know you bump into see we've all done it we've been in the, sh the shops and someone's come and said hi hi and you're like hi who are you um and we have to kind of make something up on the spot and it can be a little bit icky um just generally chatting to people it's all part of the same idea of improvisation now the only way it's different in what we do in drama lessons is that people are watching we're consciously doing it but every day we are subconsciously improvising that is what we do so improvisation is basically being um just making things up on the spot that is it in layman terms um so <clears throat> i'm just going to go through a few points and then at the end i know there's a lot of you um when we eventually do do the exams there are some of you going to be doing improvisation um, on your own and we're going to take the terror out of that and we're going to I'm going to show you because I want you to think about we've been through it sometimes in class but I know some of you still find it hard to kind of get to grips with it we're going to go through at the end um some of the things you might be given and what we do how we tackle it so we can blow away all those ideas of I can't do improvisation I I just run out of ideas okay I'm going to show you how you can tap into some ideas awesome right so the first thing is to say i've made notes uh you know i love writing things down don't you the first thing to say is with and i say this in drama all the time but it's true there are no wrong answers there's no right or wrong i mean yes there's right and wrong in terms of behavior and that sort of thing but when it comes to oh hello um when it comes to performing improvisation trying things out in the comfort and safety of um one of our classes um there is no right or wrong okay i always say and i say this a lot is the trying the fact you try that's what we're looking for okay that's what we're looking for the more you try it's like anything the more you practice the better you become um just with improvisation so let's talk about it in um as if we're in a group or in a duo that's quite often how we do it isn't it in class okay so we're talking improvisation the clue with improvisation the key is to put something out there put anything out there okay now i know in class we have some who are extremely good at improvisation absolutely kill it every time okay and then we have the ones who think they suck at improvisation, okay? Mm -hmm. I know who's going, yep, that's me. I know because, and why? Because, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, it makes you feel really uncomfortable and awkward, okay? The second thing is that um, you feel you're not funny. We have some, and I can see why, but we have this thing that improvisation has to be 
funny. We have to be funny. We're not doing stand up. This is not comedy. This is not stand up. Improvisation is what it says. It's just improvising. It's being, what's the word? I'm looking for, begin with this. It's not like simultaneous. Ah, oh, what's the word? You know what I mean. Um, so, if there's two of you up there, okay, um, a clue, where do we start? Okay, so sometimes in class, I might give you, oh, some of the other students might say to you, right, you are in this location, okay? And I see people stand there like that, and they're like, oh, God. Okay, you, you start because I haven't got a clue what to do. Okay, first of all, someone's got to start. What happens is one student starts. Now, when that person gives out their idea, it could be, oh, we are in a haunted house. Oh, my gosh, did you hear that noise? Your job, I mean, it's on a plate. Your job is to go, yes, and, and, and then carry it on. Don't go, no. Because then what does that do? That shuts down whole conversation um and it's like oh okay well i'm sure i did no what does that do that's boring isn't it okay you could say someone goes oh my god did you hear that noise you go what wait no what noise okay so you're kind of you're not closing them down you're keeping it what noise you're asking a question back what noise so you always always accept Oh yes, and so we sometimes play a game where you just have to, it's ping pong. So someone says something and you go, oh yeah. So, oh, my mum went out the door. Oh yes, and she got into her car. Oh yes, and, and you know, continuing your story. It's like that. Whoa. Don't close them down. You help each other out. You're in this together. We're all in this together. Did you see, sorry, totally off track, but did you see, this has become a massive hashtag. We're all in this together for lockdown and we started that in musical theatre, just saying. Right, um, so it wouldn't be me if I didn't go off on a tangent, right? Um, so you say yes, and you are building on it, okay? What I want you to think of, think of it as the pyramids, okay? Imagine a pyramid in Egypt. Do you think, old, well, we'll use the name Moses, that obviously wouldn't have been the name of the people who built the pyramids. What's happened with my hair? Um, but we'll just use the name Moses because we can. Do you think you went to his mate? Right. Oi, Moses. And Moses goes, yeah. All right, Steve. Because obviously they were all called Steve in those days. Do you think he went, boom, there we go, there's a pyramid. No, he built it. They built them brick by brick. And improvisation is the same. We're not looking for the end result. We are just taking it one moment, one step at a time. Now, one thing I see people doing um, they go up to improvisation. Yes, me, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. And they are, there's, so there's two of them there and one of them is getting going and the second one is so busy trying to think of something to be funny. And, and I'm not being critical here, but I can see their brains sometimes. They're like, oh God, how am I going to make this funny? How That they're not listening to the other person. You've got to be in that moment together and you're just going to bounce off each other. So yes, and move the conversation on. Build in little steps. you just got to think of the next thing. So we're in a haunted house. Did you hear that noise? Oh, no, what noise? There it is again. Oh, God, yes, I heard it that time. What could it be? I don't know. Should we go and investigate? Because they always go and investigate in the films, don't they? And they always end up being killed. There we go. Um, so just, you haven't got to think ahead. Just think of the next thing, okay? It can be overwhelming. 100% get that. It can be overwhelming. Stick with it. And I've got to say something here about being funny. Oh, improvisation doesn't have to always be funny. Um, certainly when we get back to class, we're going to be doing some improvisations where we're going to take a serious tone. And um, we're not looking to be, oh, I've got a real killing, killing line coming. Okay. We're going to try and, we're going to turn it down. I'm going to show you. Improvisation does not have to mean funny. That's, leave that for the stand-ups. I know when we watch programs like Who's Lines Anyway and that sort of thing, they're always really funny, but they've been doing it together for years and years and years and years. It's their job, all right? So stick with it. It's a team. When you're doing it in a group or in pairs or whatever, it's a team sport. So do it together. And you know those ones who are people who are killing it, who are so funny? When we do improvisation, I love my groups. Um, and sometimes the improvisation, I come out of that class having belly laughed. And that's as it should be. But if you're with someone who's doing something and they're very funny, 
they're only going to be very funny because of you. Because if you're in a duet, so one of you, if someone's just done there and not giving it anything back, that person's got nothing to bounce off. They can't be funny without you. So don't ever think you're not integral, in, in, but there, integral to the humour. You will be a part of that humour. Whether or not you can come out with a clip, you know, some people just come out with them. Some of the best I've seen is where it's people who think, oh, I can't do that, I totally suck at this. And they'll pull a face or they'll say one line or, and it'll bring the house down. Stick with it. Small bits. Think of the next thing. Think of the next thing. Don't think too far ahead, okay? It's a team effort. Um, another thing I see when people come to do improvisation, when they come up into class and they're like, okay. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? You're not open to suggestion, are you? Improvisation is about being open to suggestion. So, standing like this. Don't have a weird angle. I look like my head's too small for my body there. <laughs> so, I've got a big baggy sweatshirt and I'm sitting at a weird angle. But sitting like that is you're not open to anything, all right? I stand like this all the time and I'm consciously stopping myself. Stand there in what we call neutral position. You all know neutral position, yes. Standing, legs slightly apart, shoulders back and down, comfortable, ready for anything, okay? Stand like that, be ready, be ready. Physically be ready and your, your whole energy will shift. If you stand like this, everything closes and that will close your mind. Um, sorry, I'm reading messages. Um, be open. Ready to accept? Yes, I'm ready. I may not feel it and I may not be feeling too brave, but I'm here. Okay, do that. Um, <laughs> we've done the whole listen thing. Listen. Oh, God, yes. Like I was saying, sometimes you get people who are like, oh, I've got a cracking idea. Let's go and do an improvisation about this. And, and I'm going to get this line in here. And they're not listening to the other person because they're so busy thinking, right, where am I going to get my line in? Oh, I've got a great idea for this. Oh, I think we should. they're not listening. You've got to, you don't be in a vacuum. Don't be in a vacuum where it's just you. It's all about you. It's If there's two of you up there, listen. Because you don't know what they're going to feed you. It could be something that's going to, if you're too busy thinking about what you're going to do, oh my God, listen to what they tell you. They could be giving you a killer line that you can just go, oh yeah. Okay. Listening is absolutely key. Um, so don't pre-plan. Don't pre-plan. You're going to miss stuff. Um, emotions, emotions are super important in, in improvisation. They're your friend, okay? I think sometimes people feel like I've got to keep it all like this. I can't tap into my emotions. You can totally tap into your emotions. Be it funny, be it sad, be it whatever. Use your emotions, feel free to use your emotions in whatever way, it could be, it could be extremely happy. It could be extremely sad. It could, but emotions are your friend. Tap into them. All right. Um, keep it fun. I always try and keep it fun in lessons, and I think that is so important. We keep it fun. All right. So when I see this, we're going. Oh God, I am No, we're going to change this. We're going to change this. You're going to stand up, and you're going to be standing like this, and you're going to be ready for it. Okay. So we're going to give you a line, and you're going to be like. We're going to give you a setting um, and then you'll be like, oh, right, yeah, 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 I can do this. And listen, listen for that line that's given to you. Something else that I've noticed people do, actually, this just reminds me, is don't ask too many questions, okay? So say, we just say, right, you two go and do an improvisation. Don't matter. Or we tell you what the topic is, but we don't tell you where you are. Don't start. I look like a chicken. Don't start your first your improvisation off by saying so where are we what tell them where you are okay all right oh i love the zoo and your partner's gonna go oh yes oh me too yeah and and that's yes they're in agreement of that's where you are okay go in boom go in with some authority okay be open Listen and go in with authority and build in small bits. Don't be looking at the end goal. Um, it's a collaboration. It's about communication. And isn't that life in general? Isn't that in when you're doing a school project in a group? Isn't it about collaboration? Isn't it about... Um, it's not about the one person, is it? 
okay? It's, it's and it, funny only works if everyone is being funny or if everyone is buying into that. People who think they're funny at um, impro generally are funny at impro, but it doesn't work if they are with somebody who, um, you know, is not giving them something to work off. So the fact you might be with someone who's absolutely killing it, you must be doing something right too, okay? Uh, avoid questions. I've just said that. Avoid questions. Use statements. Use statements. Yes, occasionally to move the narrative along, you might need to ask questions like, oh, did you hear that noise? Okay? But otherwise, oh my goodness, that noise, that was so loud. Or, no, or oh my God, oh, I love the zoo. Or, oh, school's so boring. Don't just use statements where you can, okay? Um, because questions quite often just didn't delay the inevitable. Um, and take your small wins where you can find them. Take your small wins. So when we're doing improvisation, if you're with somebody and you're like, oh God, and then you say something and it came to you quite naturally, yes, bravo. That's a win. That's a win where you're not feeling so uncomfortable that you're like, oh my God, I don't know what to say. What do I say? What do I say? Uh, okay. Well, you actually take ownership and, and you make a statement um, or they say something, you go, oh yes, and, and you feel that little moment of confidence. That's a win. Take your wins where you can find them. And that applies to life, people. That applies to life. Take your wins where you can get them. Small wins are as important as a massive win. Okay, so that's some ground rules about improvisation. Okay, now another thing that we get, and this will apply to people doing their exams, is when I'm doing improvisation, I run out of things to say. Okay, so what do we do? This is what we're going to talk about now. I can have a drink because my throat's a bit sore. Um, so what do we do? Well, we all know, Although we've been in lockdown, Miss Carson may have come up with some new ideas, but we also do know that quite often one of the things in the exam is you're in a marketplace or in a shopping mall and um, you lose your parent. Boom, go. Uh, it could be that you're in a foreign country in a shopping mall or marketplace and you lose your parent. Go. And people go, mm -hmm. okay, mum, uh, uh, mum, oh, mum, where are you? Oh, and that's it, they dry up. So, talking of drying up. So what do we do? Okay, I'm gonna tell you, quite simple. Maybe make a note of this if you're, uh, I do tell you this in class, but I think sometimes there's so much else going on. So, make a note. Okay, you're in the marketplace, or you're in a shopping mall in France. Let's, let's be French. Um, and you're looking at something, and then when you turn around, your mum has gone. Okay, so straight away, you're given the location. So, okay, the, one of the most important things when you're doing improvisation, especially in, under an exam um, circumstances, is think of where you are because that is gonna give you all the tools you need. Okay, marketplace, what does the marketplace say to you? What does the marketplace, what's it got? Stalls, okay. Are they all the same? Is it a whole market full of fish stalls? Well, maybe if you're at a fish market, but you're in a market. Okay, there could be jewellery stores, there could be clothes stores, there could be sweet stores, there could be food stores, there could be fish stores, there could be hair stores, there could be gadget stores, there could be... Okay, straight away, we're getting ideas. So when we run out of... We've done the whole, oh God, mum, where have you gone? Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, oh, maybe she went back to the gadget store because she was looking for a phone cover. Okay, so we've got that. Straight away, we can use one of those places, one of those things. What else? Oh, or maybe she went to buy some beauty cream or... um. Oh, maybe she thinks I've gone to the bookstore or do you, do you know what I mean? Think of where you are and break that down. What is there? And I'm not saying you, you're not going to have a lot of time to think about this at the time. So I'm giving you some nuggets now because hopefully, um, unless Miss Carson's had a complete revelation in lockdown. Sorry, Miss Carson, I hope you don't watch this. But she may change this. She may change it. But think about the location and um, wow what's there there's several things already different stalls that's one thing okay so then what do we get in market we get people so what would you do so you're lost in the market so set your scene when you do that improvisation first thing you've got to do is establish where you are yes she's told you where you are but you've got to set a scene and we do this with in a script why does the script say have a little um you know in bold or in brackets 
The scene is set. Scene one takes place in a blah blah blah. It is a windy day. Blah blah. Do, yeah. Why do they do that? They're setting the scene. And as an actor, without a script, you do the same. Okay. So you're going to be. Um, oh, you're right. So we're in the market. Oh, mum. <gasps> mum, look at these bracelets. Oh, my mum, you've got my money. Mum. Mum. Put the bracelet back down. Think about what you're doing. Put the bracelet back down. Mum, where's she gone? Um, Mum, walk up and down a bit. What would you do? Think, think. What would you do? You'd walk up and down. Okay, where's Mum? Oh God, where's Mum gone? Um, I haven't got a phone. Think about that. I haven't got a phone. I can't ring her. Oh no. Uh, oh, I know. Maybe she went back to the gadget store to buy that phone case. Go back to the gadget store. Excuse me. Uh, have you seen my um? My mare, or if you're talking in a different, different language, if it's in a different country, you could try that. Or you could say, my mum, uh, don't worry. Um, oh, she was talking about getting dad some Turkish delight. Go over to that store. Oh, she's not here. Where's she gone? Oh, there's a policeman or a, what are they called in France? Can't, not Garda, that's Ireland. You know what I mean. Gendarme. Um, excuse me. I can't find my mum. So go and ask somebody. If it's in England, just you go and find a security guard. Oh, there's a security guard. Excuse me, I can't find my mum. Can you help me? Um, and then, oh gosh, so what does your mum look like? So we've got a description of someone. Okay, so she's about this high. She's got short hair. She wears glasses. Um, I think she was wearing a blue coat. And her name is, okay. So we've got a place. We've got things that are in this place. And we've got people. And what do people do? They have clothes on well we hope so it depends what kind of market you're at but they have clothes on so we've got okay so we've got a person we've got a description oh when did i last see her have an imaginary conversation when did i last see her oh um well she was with me just now and then i turned around and she's gone oh what store was i at before well we went from there go back back track. where were you before think of those stores again well we went to this store we went to that store and then and then when i turned around she'd gone yeah, I kind of ran over to... And before you know it, Miss Carson's going to go... Okay? She's going to be going, okay, that's it, great, thank you very much. One thing that they hate to see in improvisation is you do... Oh, where'd she go? Where's she going? Oh, um... I don't know. Gosh, where could she be? Maybe she's gone home. Oh, uh, mm, that's it. No. Don't do that. Okay? Keep it going. Keep it and you can, if you're thinking about your place or your location, what's your location at? Think of yourself in that location. What do I see when I'm in one of these places? Okay, there's another one they do. You're at the beach with your sister or brother and you're building sandcastles and you're getting really fed up with having to keep building sandcastles. So what do we have at the beach? We have sand, we have sea. It's hot. Well, I could be reading a book. I'm probably listening to something in my headphones or my, with my Walkman, I was about to say, but hey, you're all, you haven't got a clue what a Walkman has, have you? You're not got a clue. Ask your parents. Um, and, oh, putting sun cream on. So think about things you can do, all right? And this, this is a process of seconds. You can do this in seconds. Kit your brain open. So she put your hand at the beach. Okay, uh, putting sun cream on. Oh. See a nice lolly. Oh, I don't want to build your sand castle. I've just built you a sand. Right, okay, last time, last time. Think about it. Think about it. what you do when it's your um sister or brother. Okay, I'll come and build it one more time. I'm building it, and you build it, and then you build some more. Don't throw sand or blah blah. What should we put on top of the castle? Oh, yeah, blah blah. Right, done now. I'm gonna go and sit back down. I'm going to think about what do I do when I sit on the beach? Oh, I'm going to get my book out again. Or I'm going to put my phone on. Or I'm going to listen to something again. Um, and then she might shout to you. Okay, I want you to mention the tide is coming in. Oh, gosh. Cripes. Cripes. Who says cripes? Um, quick, help me move all our stuff. Quick. I, mean, I'm so, I know he's going to knock the castle down. We can't do anything about it. I can't move the sand castle. Blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter what you're the point is you're saying and you're doing something and it's believable okay you've got to just put yourself in that position and if it's a position you've not been in before think about what you would do in that position all right so improvisation when you're given a set improvisation on your own you're given where you are you're given a location you're always given a location unless they're really mean but you're always given a location Straight away, location. Okay, where am I? So what's there? From a farm. Okay, animals. Loads of animals. So if you're really stuck, you could go through every single animal on that farm. Oh, let's go see the ducks. 
Oh God, the ducks are really boring. I want to see something bigger. Oh, the cows are feeding the cows at this time. Go round and round and keep going. Just keep going. Keep a little story. Make it into a little story in your head and you keep that story going until you can, until you're told, okay? I really hope that helps. Improvisation, spontaneous. That's the word I was looking for. It's about spontaneity. Be spontaneous. Keep it going. And you know what? Just have the courage to be. Just have the courage to be. Nothing will be wrong. Just don't stop. Let them stop you. I want you in your exam rooms. And Miss Carson going, okay, enough already. Can't ever imagine Miss Carson saying that. She'll go, oh, thank you very much. Okay. Just think you've got to use your brain the problem is if you go in and you're like oh god this can't do this can't do this. what are we doing we're, we're giving ourselves negative self-talk and negative self-talk is bane of my life okay i do it my kids do it. we all do it everyone does it because we're weird things as humans we are geared our brain's geared to protect us okay and so anything that is slightly um uncomfortable it's like oh god you know you can't do that don't do it. yeah don't do that but no 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 because we know we can do it right so i really hope you've got some little nuggets of information from improvisation everybody can improvisation improvisation can improvise you do it every day subconsciously we're talking about doing it consciously small steps small steps yes and yes and we're building we're building we're building and when you're on your own where am i okay think 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 i'm in the shopping mall hundreds of shops you could go through every single shop oh let's go to the apple store let's go to next let's go to marks and spencers oh i quite fancy a toasty let's go to starbucks oh god i mean yeah i know it's hard to imagine right at the moment but remember those days when we used to be able to go out um you've got a whole mine of information there you've got so many tools there you can use you've just got to be open to it and think about it. engage their brain for a second it doesn't matter if you pause a little bit while you're trying to think of something else just keep your little story ticking over all right we're gonna go over it in class when class is good but we're gonna be going over it again but i want to see you especially you seniors i don't want anyone going oh god improvisation oh i don't want any of that okay because you can and you do do it you do do it and nothing gives me greater pleasure than the ones you go, ooh, ooh, getting up there, doing it, and killing it. Because you do. You do. Right, I'm going to go. I'm going to love you and leave you. I know there's probably not so much for the younger, younger little ones in there, but there are bits they can take from that. Um, I will try I'll speak to Miss Jane about doing some, and we'll do some more physical stuff. We'll do some tongue twisters, and we'll do some bits and bobs like that. Um, thank you so much. Please stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe and happy. All right? I know you're probably getting schoolwork piled on. Blah, blah, blah. Okay? As long as we all come out of this healthy and happy i'll leave you with mel robbins mel robbins if you've never watched or listened to Mel robbins she's an absolutely incredible woman um and i love listening to her especially if you're someone who maybe suffers from a bit of anxiety or gets worried about things we all get worried about stuff right even grown-ups um she says it like it is but she will give you so many little tips and one thing she says all right and your mums and dads totally concur with this i know is um what your children will remember, she tells us this, because we're the grown-ups, um, is not what they did during this time. I mean, Dylan hasn't got a clue what he's doing. He's forgotten what school is. I swear he's forgotten what school is. Haven't you, Dylan? He's just dyed his hair blue, by the way, with tissue paper, don't ask. Um, but they'll remember how they felt. And I promise you, as parents, as teachers, that it's your well-being, all right? We all just, it's an awful time. We're getting through it. We will get through it. We'll be through this before you know it. But remember how you felt. So your mental well-being is as important as your physical well-being, people. So just, if you need to take a bit of time, sit and read a book. Go and sit in the garden. Get, put your face up to the sun and just be for a moment, okay? Just your physical and mental health is what is important in this time please don't anyone get all upset about stuff because we will be through this before you know it i absolutely promise you and we cannot wait to go back to classes with you and see you all again and um but yeah anyway stay safe lots of love to you all and i will see you very soon <laughs>